rouge. Le ciel est bleu. Le soleil est brillant. Je suis heureuse. Je suis toute seule. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It's this wig that's making me talk like a French girl. Um, I'm here today with a review on Envy Wigs, beautiful, beautiful Chloe, or as we pronounce it in English, Chloe. Um, this is a wig that I would have never thought of purchasing, but my husband surprised me with it on my birthday. And let me tell you something, I am absolutely blown away because this, this unit, this is French girl hair. Um, and when I say French girl hair, I also mean French woman. The reason that I say this is because one thing that I've noticed during my many visits to France, especially Paris, is that women have a very relaxed attitude towards their hairstyles and their hair. Um, they have fabulous haircuts and it kind of looks like they just rolled out of bed, but yet everything falls into place. Their hair isn't perfect until, well, if you want perfect hair, then go over to, I believe it's like the 17th arrondissement. I'm not too sure. But this is six arrondissement hair. This is Saint Germain hair. This is Latin Quarter hair. This is great hair. Um, what I love about this hair is that it is a very, very relaxed bob. The length is great because it falls right below the chin, a cup, maybe one or two inches below the chin but yet it's not gonna fall so far on your shoulders that if you are wearing a textured sweater or a blazer or a jacket, um, the fibers aren't gonna get messed up at all. Now, here's the thing. Vincent got this for me and he ordered it in the color Chocolate cherry, or unless you want to be French about it, chocolat chéri. So I love this color. Like, I love this color. He thought it was a little too um, burgundy for him. And the only burgundy he likes is burgundy in his line. But here's another thing. Um, a lot of women... Um, I don't know whether it's um, indigenous to France or maybe it's throughout Europe, but a lot of women, once they reach a certain age, they do have a tendency to dye their hair like auburn or a kind of burgundy mix. And it's kind of like the color of this. I love this color. Um, let me give you the specs on this wig in case you are interested. I had to write them down because um, like I don't remember stuff. Not that it's bad, but I don't remember, like I'm bad with numbers, as in I'm bad with the amount of money that I spend on stuff. I just got a lecture on that. So this Chloe wig is a mono part, which means that you do have the freedom to part it in a couple of, um, within a couple of inches, and the part looks very natural. It is a nine inch front, the crown is 10.5. The sides are eight and three quarter inches. The nape is five to five. And overall, the weight of her is 3.59 ounces. She's very light, but she's very, very dense too. I mean, this is thick hair. This is nice hair. And I am so surprised that I bypassed Chloe on um, the many wig sites because this is a great bob. I would like to get her in a lighter color as well 
because I think this wig is going to travel so well. And when we go back to Paris in the fall, I'm wearing this because I'll fit in with the natives, even though I don't talk like them. So let me show you what Chloe looked, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Uh, let me show you what this gorgeous little French girl looks like from side to side. So. Here is my right side, which is your left side. I love the length of this. I love the way that she just kind of drapes. Okay, now, here's the other side. Here is the left side. And here is the back side. Isn't she nice? Like, I, I, I swear to God, I freaking love this unit. She's awesome. Um, hold on. I'm going to take her off so that you can see the inside. Hold on a second. Oh, look, now I look like a French fisherman because I have my little wig cap on and I have my striped shirt on. So either way, I look very French. Okay, so here we go. Here is the mono part. Here is the lace front, and the lace front is very clean. Now, it's got the bra straps. You know, I'm sorry. I, I really have to apologize for the lighting in, in here. I, I'm no uh, I'm no Cecil B. DeMille, okay? So anyway, here are the straps. You've got the nice close-together wefting. I mean, it, overall, it really is a nice wig. Now, here... Here's another look at the lace front. I'm telling you, I there's not much that you need to do with this wig. I shake it out and um, hold on. I'm gonna put her back on. Ugh. See, now you can see how I get my wigs ready and on. Whoa. Now, I have a very low forehead, so I have to wear my wigs a little bit lower um, to give me a more natural look. But here it is. I just literally threw her on without doing anything. Um, I love the ends. I love the sort of unkempt look because trust me, that's me. I run out of the house late and I have no time for fussiness. Um, there was something else that I wanted to say about this wig. Oh, oh, okay. When I opened her up, she was a little on the shiny side. So what I did was I sprayed her down with dry shampoo. I wore her to work that day and everybody loved this unit. Like I got so many great compliments on Chloe. So I wore her to work. And then when I came home, I washed her and I hung her upside down and like the next day she was perfect. I mean, I, I don't know why my husband isn't crazy about this color because I think it's a fun color. This is a fun, like summer color after the beach. I mean, with, with my fake tan, this will look great with a fake tan. So that's it. There's really not much more I can say. I can't even tell you what what site he purchased this from because he can't remember. And he kept saying, oh, Catherine, uh, this big, it was very, very uh, expensive. So I asked him, um, did you use the coupons? No, what are you talking about? I, I, I have no idea what you are talking about. I do not use coupons. I just click and I buy. Well, where did you buy it from? I cannot remember. And I do not want you to see the receipt. Uh, it's like, boyfriend, you got to learn how to use coupons. But coupon or not, I think my husband did a bang up job in getting me this hair for my birthday. I mean, how many men go out there and buy hair for their wives or girlfriends for their birthdays. Man, I am blessed. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. 
merci to my husband. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you got a good laugh out of my bad French. Um, no insult to anybody out there who speaks fluent French. No insult out there to my French friends and family. Um, keeping it real. Remember, this is Chloe by Envy, Envy Wigs. Um, I, this is the first wig that I've gotten from Envy and it's not going to be the last. I really enjoy this. I like the texture. I like the density. I, there's nothing that I don't like about this unit. So thank you Envy Wigs for making my husband pick this out for me because I would have never, ever I just would have never bought this. And I am so glad that he did. So that's it. Um, au revoir. Have a great day. And I will see you later. Bye. Oh, yeah. If you like this, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If not, thumbs down. And um, please subscribe. Because I think it's important that we support older women and the average woman who is taking the time out to make YouTube videos because that's what they want. Um, bye bye. See you later.